you are wrong. But never giving up should be what you have done. Math can be fun. Math can be done. Math can be conquered as soon as you want. Math did I be? Math did I pro? Math did I invite you to explore the math world? Geometry, algebra, probability. Are you ready to take on challenges? Math did I be? Math did I pro? Math did I invite you to conquer the math world? Math did I be? Math did I pro? Math did I invite you? Together we succeed in the math world. Hello everybody, my name is Vincent Lowe and I'm a sixth grader at Evergreen Elementary School. And as you can see, I have a very strong passion for math. However, in all the math competitions I go to, I see students, parents, even teachers getting confused about all the math competitions out there and the qualifications to get to a certain level. That is why today's presentation will be about the road to the International Math Olympiad, also known as IMO. Today's agenda will be split into two sections. The first one will be presentation, and the second one will be hands-on exercises. In the presentation section, I'll be talking about why you should listen to me, why you should aim for IMO, the road to IMO from a high schoolers, middle schoolers, and elementary schoolers perspective, how to prepare, and the conclusion. In the hands-on exercises section, I'll be discussing some sample problems from elementary school, middle school, and high school contests, mental math tricks, the surprise activity, and then I'll open up for some Q&A at the end. So first of all, why me? I was a straight gold honor student at Evergreen Elementary since fourth grade. I was an MOEM gold pen recipient in the past two years. In the Math League National Contest, I placed third in the fifth grade division. This national contest was held in Texas where the top mathletes from numerous states in the U.S. competed for the top trophy, and I placed third in the fifth grade division. I was AMC on roll as a fifth grader. I made it to AMC 10 top 5% as a fifth grader. And I'm the proud owner of Math Jedi Math Tutorial YouTube channel. As you can hear, as you can see here, this is one of my screenshots from the video. Make sure to subscribe and like. And to get to my channel, all you have to do is go to YouTube and search up Math Jedi B. Now let's move on to why should you aim for IMO? Well, IMO will boost your self-confidence. Once you start preparing for IMO, you will excel in math. And the math that you get at school will seem like a piece of cake. And since math is the foundation of many other analytical subjects, if you can excel in math, then you will excel in all the other science and computer related subjects. It will boost your self-confidence. Now, if even better, if you make it to IMO, it's just a ticket to the best colleges. This pie chart I write shows the college attendance of the, in the past five years of the IMO US participants. All of them went to the, one of the best schools, and over 75% went to MIT, one of the most prestigious engineering schools in the world. And of course, if you make it to one of the best colleges, you will most likely be very successful in the future. Now let's talk about the road to IMO from a high schooler's perspective. High schoolers should usually take the AMC 12 because AMC 12's problems are more suitable for them. It is a test that is 12th grade or below. It's 25 questions and 75 minutes long, no quota. The top 10,000 students from the AMC 10 and AMC 12 will be selected to go to AMI, which is American Invitational Math Examination. It's 50 questions and you have three hours to solve them. The top 270 students from Amy will be selected to go to USAMO, which stands for USA Math Olympia. It's six questions and nine hours long. As you notice, as the math competitions progress, the minute per question ratio increases, starting at three minutes per question in the AMC 12, and then all the way to useful 90 minutes per question. 
This is because all the questions on UNISYML are proof questions, and they take a long time to figure out. The top 30 students from the USA Math Olympiad will be selected to go to block training, which is a three week, all expense paid summer camp held at CMU. Top six students will be selected to go to IMO, which is six questions and nine hours long as well. The road to IMO from a middle schooler's perspective is very similar to the road to IMO from a high schooler's perspective. The only difference is that middle schoolers should typically take the AMC 10 instead of the AMC 12. And the AMC 10 is a test for 10th graders or below. It's 25 questions in 75 minutes as well. And instead of taking the USMO, they should take the USA JMO, which J stands for junior. And only the top 230 students will be selected from eight. And it's six questions, nine hours long. Then only the top 12 students from USA JMO will be selected to go to mock training. Some tests that you should do to prepare for AMC 10 or AMC 12 are AMC 8 and Math Count. AMC 8 is a test for 8th graders or below, and it's 25 questions, 40 minutes long. Math Count, there's four different tests, and the total is about three hours, and there's no quota in the first round, but if you want to advance, you need to qualify and do well. Now, let's talk about the road to IMO from an elementary schooler's perspective. There's some tests that you can take so you can practice for your math competition career. First one's Math Olympia. It's five questions, 40 minutes long, anyone can take it. And then there's MathLeague.org, which is very similar to Math Count. Four different tests, and the total is about three hours long. There's no quota in the regional round, but then you have to qualify to make it a state and then to national. The thing I like about MathLeague.org is that you get immediate feedback. You get to know what score you get, what questions you missed, and how you compare to the other math leagues on the same day you took the test, in contrast to other contests, such as the AMC series. You won't know your results until more than one month. MathLeague.org will, will provide you as a great checkpoint to compare yourself to where you stand in your studies to other math leagues. Now let's put it all together. The above three slides were just reference points to show what test you should take at a certain age. But you don't have to follow those rules. If you're super advanced and you're still in elementary school, you can take AMC 12. It might make your eye go. Who knows? Now let's talk about how to prepare. Well, first, of course, you have to excel in your evergreen math classes. You have to have a good foundation before you move on to more advanced stuff. Then you should read the ALPS book series. I highly recommend you read the book series because <clears throat> it covers all the topics that you'll need to succeed in math contests. Once you finish the whole book series, as from there, you will do pretty well in math contests. And also, you should do some practice tests. Of course, you should do as many practice problems as possible. This site contains real past exams going back to 20 years. Trust me, you will never run out of problems to do. And you should participate in as many math contests as you can to experience the feeling of real time working under real time pressure. Trust me, you will feel the difference. And of course, visit my Math Jedi Math Tutorial YouTube channel, which will teach you AMC8 hard problems. In conclusion, I am on the IMO journey for the process, regardless of the result. After all, only the top six most talented athletes will be selected to represent the U.S. in the IMO. What are the chances of me being selected? I am not a child prodigy. I do not have 36 hours in a day. And my parents are not math professors at Stanford. Let me do some mental calculus. Hmm. Aha! The chances that I'm going to be selected are 0.0001%. Nevertheless, I enjoy the process of preparing for the IMO because I get to solve challenging math problems every day. And it makes me smile.
inspired. This journey is not only a great help to improve my math skills, but it's also a great exercise for my sportsmanship. If I happen to do very well on a certain test, I will stay humble and keep up the good work so I can do, I can do the same next time. On the other hand, if I don't do so well, I will learn from my mistakes and strive to do better next time. What I have learned so far in the IMO journey is that effort is directly proportional to your work. The harder I work, the better result I get. There's always someone better than me. If I happen to get number one at stay, I'll meet my match nationals. And last but not least, never give up. A famous basketball player, LeBron James, once said, giving up is not an option. Even he, the world's greatest basketball player, still loses some games from time to time. But the key is to get back on your feet and work hard to succeed next time. The key is to never give up. And most importantly, make some few like-minded friends along the way. It is important to have friends that share a common interest as you. I believe that they will benefit me greatly. Competitions may just are just temporary, but friends are something that will last me for a lifetime. You guys have any questions?